Hey, 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 another day, another hotel. Did I make it to London? That's a huge question, and I've got some cruise news today, including a story that calls into question whether or not you can fall off of a cruise ship. Uh, two examples, and one of them suggests maybe you can't. Uh, let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I am your host, Tony, here to talk to you about everything going on in cruising. That's right, the jazz hands are powered up because I made it to London. I made it to London, y'all, crazily. It was the same plane, the same crew, the same captain. Fortunately, the nose cone noise was gone, but even this plane was delayed a little bit. We were sitting on the tarmac, 10 minutes past the time we were supposed to leave when the captain comes on and says, I hate to come on and apologize again. Uh, however, we are having some discrepancy with the luggage count. And uh, because of security, we have to reconcile what luggage is on the manifest versus what luggage is under the plane. And we're having, oh, and while he was giving the announcement, he goes, somebody just handed me a piece of paper. We're all good to go. And well, the plane took off and here I am right next to Heathrow Airport. Unfortunately, I lost a whole day, so I don't know what sightseeing I'll be able to do, but fortunately, tomorrow is Carouse Day, and so I think a, a little bit of rest and relaxation is in the cards for this afternoon uh, before I head over to Southampton. That's the plan, but we do have a couple of cruise news stories to talk about. The first cruise news story is a story about a first-time Carnival cruiser who went overboard. First-time Carnival cruiser Ronnie Peel Jr. was reported missing by his traveling companion, Cruise ship security searched the entire ship, making several announcements calling for him to uh, make an appearance. And then they went to the video footage and they found that at 4.10 in the morning, uh, Mr. Peel Jr. was leaning over his balcony and subsequently fell into the water. Coast Guard was engaged for a search, but unfortunately Mr. Peel has not been recovered and the search has been called off. This happened a few days ago and there has been a lot of buzz on social media about it. Uh, Mr. Peel Jr.'s traveling partner saying that he was very excited to be on his first cruise, that he was having a great time. But it does call into question, can you fall off of a cruise ship? I tell you what, these cruise ship railings are very high. You do have to exert some effort in your leaning, in your climbing to fall off of cruise ships. And most of the time, it's one or two reasons. It's people who have decided to uh, go over the side of the cruise ship. And other times, it's alcohol-induced. Uh, but I think there might be a third option here, and it's the second cruise news story. I found these pictures on Facebook coming from Costa Maya, Mexico, pictures of the Carnival Dream making port there. And uh, let me show you these pictures. Here's a long shot of the Carnival Dream. And then we go to another shot, a long shot of the Carnival Dream uh, coming right at us. And then, what? What? wait, what is this? What is on the very front of this cruise ship? Well, it's, it's, a, it's a couple dudes just sitting on the side over the railing, sitting on the front of a cruise ship. So, you know, can you fall off of a cruise ship? I think it's hard, but if you go out of your way to put yourself in danger, like these two gentlemen have, I, yeah, I guess you could fall off of a cruise ship. I do want to consult one of my uh, Are You an Idiot on a Cruise Ship experts? Uh, straight from Ottawa, Canada, uh, let me bring in um, my friend and yours, Don Terrace, for his opinion about these, um, let's call them unsafe, unsafe carnival cruisers. Uh, come on in, Don. Here I am. So, Don, you've seen the pictures. You've reviewed the I evidence. I saw the pictures. Well, first and foremost, can you fall off of a cruise ship? What's your standard oh, answer? Oh, you can fall off if you do something stupid. And would you say that these gentlemen are doing something stupid? Highly stupid. Yeah. Highly stupid. Not only just falling in that position, if they fall from there, they're falling to decks. They're not falling even into the water to have a chance. They're falling flat into hard concrete and steel. and uh, No, not a good idea. How was your flight? My flight was pretty good. A little bit of delays, but not near what you went through. Yeah, so we are, we're here together in the London. We're at the, the Hilton right next to Heathrow Airport. So we're well positioned. We're catching a car tomorrow to go down to Southampton. So, uh, yeah, have you been on uh, Regal Princess before? I've been on the Regal many uh, times on the Regal. So right. looking forward to it again. All right. I wonder if they have that yes-no game show. Yeah. How long will uh, Don last? Unfortunately, they will, and I won't. 
Uh, <laughs> you're you're going to win. I can feel. All right, that's Cruise expert Don Terrace. The jury is in. These guys are idiots. <laughs> Don't hang off the side of a cruise ship. Let, let me say this. If you like staying up to date with everything going on in cruising... Please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these adventures. If you want to keep up with Don and I, make sure you're subscribed. And if you've enjoyed the content today, do me a solid. Hit the like button. This is Tony with La Lido Loca. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.